بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته طلاب المرحلة الأولى إن شاء الله زينين محاضرة مادة لينير الجبرة 2 first level lecture 11 the subject is linear transformation in previous lecture we talked about linear transformation we take definition and some examples and today we'll be take some properties and uh, matrix linear transformation so now <coughs> start with this proposition proposition let L from V into W be a linear transformation be a linear transformation then number one L of zero is equal to zero is always true for linear transformation and number two L of C1 V1 plus C2 V2 until plus Cn Vn this will be equal to C1 L of V1 plus C2 L of V2 and this is to Cn L of Vn <coughs> This is for all for all V i belongs to vector space V and C i belongs to real number. <coughs> now we prove this proposition. Now, prove one. Let X belongs to vector space V. This implies uh, not that and not that x minus x is equal to zero this is for any x x in v so x minus x equals zero this is true for all thus l of zero is equal to i want to to show that l of zero equal to zero for all linear transformation So now this is L of zero equal zero and this is equal X minus X. So put here instead of zero X minus X, that means this is L of X minus X. And this is, is equal to L of X plus minus X. And this is for the properties of linear transformation. This is equal to L of X plus L of minus X. And this is equal to L of X plus, this is minus 1 L of X. It's minus 1 out, out. Go out here, minus 1. So this is will be, and this is will be L of X minus L of X x and this is equal to zero so this is l of zero now equal to zero we prove 
number one. And now prove two. Prove two. We use induction. You know what about induction? We take it, we talk it in the first semester on N. This is in Arabic in Istakra Riyadh. Note that the proposition is it true for n is equal one two? This is the true for n equal 1, 2, here, here, cv, c1, v1, plus c2, v2. This is, is equal to c1, l of v1, plus c2, l of v2. This is from definition of linear transformation. This is, so this is true. The proposition is true for, for uh, n equal to 1 and 2. By definition, this is by definition. By definition of linear transformation, now <coughs> assume inductively. L of C1 V1 plus C2 V2 this is until C N V N is equal to C1 L of V1 plus C2 L of V2 plus until C N L O V N. This is by induction. Assume that this is true for all V I belongs to V and C I belongs to real numbers R. Where where I is equal to one, two until N. Now, this is page number one. Now, you have to prove the equality is true for n plus one. Now, let v1, v2, until vn, vn plus one. This is, belongs to vector space v. And c1, C2 until Cn, Cn plus 1 belongs to real numbers. And consider L of C1, V1 plus C2, V2 until until C n v n plus c n plus one v n plus one we want to show this equality is true for n plus one this is by inductive uh, I, in, in, in inductive inductive uh, induction way this is first we uh, we have to prove that this is equality. This is equality is true 
for n equal 1 but here not just equal 1 here uh, even in 2 with 2 is equality is true so this is true for uh, first there is 3 3 items first item we have to show that l of uh, this equality is true for n equal 1 or 2 okay and the second we assume the second item we assume that the equality is true for n the equality is true for n and the third item and the third we have we have to uh, so this is uh this is one this is one and this is two assumption our assumption and this is a three so we uh, in the first item we assume this is the quality is true for n equal one and two we have to show that and number two we assume the quality is true for n and item three we have to prove the equality is true for n plus one we have to prove that the equality is it true for n plus one? <coughs> so now this is is equal to okay this c one v one plus c two v two plus this is until to c n v n plus c n plus one vn plus one this is just we put here brackets here and this is now this is by definition of linear transformation this is this is first um, element and this is second argument so we can um, we can move l here and here we can move L here and here. So this is equal to L of C1 V1 plus C2 V2. And this is for Cn Vn plus this is out to go out Cn plus 1 L of Vn plus 1. Right? This is by definition. Now this is what this about this? This is equal here our assumption this is this is equal this so we we put this instead of this here in this equality so we get here c1 l of v1 plus c2 l of v2 and so on until cn l of vn and put here this is C n plus one l of v n plus one and now um, that mean we <coughs> we get we get uh, uh, the equality is it true this is equal this for n plus one not just n hence hence the proposition is it true for n plus one and we conclude by the principle principle of mathematical induction that the proposition Is it true for 
for all n belongs to natural number n. And this is end of the proof. Okay, this is by induction we get this is true for all n belongs to n. Now, take this subject matrix matrix of a linear transformation or linear operator. We saw that if a map is defined as a matrix multiplication, matrix multiplication, then it will be it will it will be linear Now we take this proposition. Let L from R N times one into R M times one is a linear is a linear transformation. If and only if there exist A belongs to R M times N such that L of x is equal to ax for all x belongs to r n times 1. Now, the linear transformation L, L, the function, the map L from r n times 1 to into r n times 1 is a linear transformation. This will be linear transformation if and only if there exists a matrix A belongs to R M N such that L of X this is L of X for any X equal is equal to A X for all X belongs to R N one. If we get this matrix so this L will be linear transformation. This L will be linear transformation. This is without proof. <coughs> now we, this is page number two. And now we take this definition. Let let uh, L let L from R n times 1 into r m times 1 b a linear transformation
The Matrix The Matrix A belongs to R M times N such that L of X is equal to A X this is matrix for all for all X belongs to R N times one is called this is, is called is called standard the standard matrix the standard standard matrix of L we call it this is standard matrix of L we denote this by <coughs> L is equal to A or L A is equal to A we say that we say that L A this is is the linear transformation and used by A this is with A now we take example <coughs> I'll try to this is definition of the standard matrix standard matrix of linear transformation this is definition of standard matrix of linear transformation so this is definition is important now example we take example example one this is Le given given that L of here X Y Z is equal to Is equal to x plus 2y and here 3y plus 4z and here 5x plus 6z this is equality here <coughs> for <coughs> belongs to R 3 times 1 here any 3 3 times 1 there are, there are 3 rows and 1 colon find find the standard matrix matrix of L this is a question. <coughs> Find standard matrix of L. Solution. First we take this L of X, Y, Z 
the cool two x plus 2y this is from question 3y plus 4z and this is 5x plus 6z and this is will be equal to here first first x x times here what about here x 1 and here there is no x so it's 0 and here 5x so this is 5 plus y times the vector y here y2 and here y3 and here y there is no y so this is 0 plus z times this vector here y z0 and here z4 and here z6 so we get these three vectors <coughs> so L of X Y Z is equal to this is matrix one two zero this is one two zero and this is zero three four and this is five zero six times x y z this is will be get for this this is a l of x y this is vector equal to a this is vector you know l of x is equal to a x this is we call it A. What we call A? We call A is matrix of this linear transformation. So now we get this is X vector. And this is A. And this is <coughs> vector <coughs> X. That means we get A is equal to 1, 2, 0, 0, 3, 4, 5, 0, 6. So this is matrix. <coughs> this linear transformation induced by this matrix A and so on we can do it any example this is page number 3 we can take another example Example two. Suppose that L of here X, Y, Z T. This is will be equal to X plus Y plus Z plus T and here Z minus X and here zero and here is and here uh, minus Z plus 3t find find the standard matrix of L here L defined from R four times one into R also four times one. So we need to find the standard matrix of this linear transformation. 
solution. The same previous example. We take this L of X, Y, Z, T. This is, is equal to, of course, here x plus y plus z plus t and here z minus x and here 0 and here minus z plus 3t and we can do it the same first x times vector out vector here 1 and here minus 1 and here 0 and here there is no x so 0 plus y y times vector here 1 and here 0 and here also 0 and here also 0 plus z times here 1 here 1 also here 0 and here minus 1 plus t there is no t T here 1 and here 0, 0 and here 3. So now we can write look like this x, y, z, t is equal to this matrix here 1, 1, 1. And here minus 1, 0, 1. And here 0, 0, 0. And here 0, 0, minus 1 times x, y, z, t. So we get this is a. This is a. a is equal to 1, 1, 1. Minus 1, 0, 1. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, minus 1. So this is, <coughs> I think this is enough to example. Now we take composition of linear transformation. Composition of linear transformation we take this as a proposition let V1, this is capital, V1, V2 is vector space, V2 and V3 B vector spaces and suppose L1 defined from v1 into v2 and l2 defined from v2 and to into v3 are this is our linear linear transformation transformations then L2 circle L1 defined from V1 into V3 is a linear is a linear transformation this is page number 4 a linear transformation
and if okay this is just here linear transformation this is uh, here proposition v1 v2 v3 and this is v3 if v1 v2 v3 be vector spaces all of them this is this vector spaces suppose that l1 defined from v1 into v2 and l2 defined from v2 into v3 are linear transformations this l1 and l2 both of them are linear transformation then the composite of l1 and l2 will be l2 circle l1 will be being uh, from defined from v1 into v3 is a linear transformation so we have now to prove this proposition prove let x y belongs to v1 and c belongs to r <coughs> uh, c1 c2 c1 c2 belongs to r now l2 circle l1 of x plus y this first condition you have to satisfy to condition to conditions for linear transformation now this is by definition of composite composition of two functions or linear transformation this is will be equal to l2 of l1 of x plus y this is from definition of composite composite and this is l1 is linear transformation so this is equal to l2 out and this is l1 of x plus l1 of y and this is l2 also is linear transformation so this is point element and this is element so this is move here this is equal to l2 of l1 of x plus l2 of l1 of y and this is definition of composite l2 composite l1 of x here brackets plus l also l2 circle l1 of y so this is first satisfy we first satisfy first condition for this and this but satisfy first condition for this linear transformation now we try to satisfy the second condition number two l2 circle l1 uh, we need just uh, c we don't need we didn't need c2 just c okay c here just c of x cx of cx this is equal to by definition l2 of l1 of cx right this is by definition of composite and here this is equal to l2 out still and here this is a linear transformation so c go c out here and I'll take l1 of x now also this is linear transformation so this is move c here c l2 of l1 of x and this is composite c 
composite L2 circle L1 of X so move C here out now so L2 circle L is a linear transformation I mean transformation this is finish the definition the proof of of our proposition now we take isomorphism isomorphism of vector space this is subject isomorphism we now we we uh, we talk about definition of isomorphism definition let v w be vector spaces then this is capital phi capital phi defined from v into w is an isomorphism is an iso iso Morphism if it is a one to one, you know, one to one, we take it in the calculus and on to on to mapping. which is which is also a linear transformation now If we have a function defined from V to W, both of them, this is vector spaces, we call it isomorphism when? If, if it is, this is phi, if it is one to one and on to and also what? Linear transformation. So if a function is satisfied three conditions, first condition, one to one, second condition, on to third condition linear transformation we call this function what we call it we call it isomorphism so this is definition of isomorphism this is definition of isomorphism so now we i remind you what what is what the meaning of isomorphism the formula, the isomorphism is a function defined from vector space into vector space and this function is one to one and on to and linear transformers. If this is page number five, now if if there is an iso if there is an isomorphism. between between vector spaces between 
in vector spaces V and W then we say we say those vectors we say those vectors vector we say those vector spaces we say those vector spaces are isomorphic iso more thick isomorphic and and we denote this by v here this is we isomorphic isomorphic if there is if there is isomorphism between two vector spaces v and w then we say those two vector spaces we call it isomorphic and denote this by v isomorphic with w v is isomorphic with w now we take example let v is equal r3 and w is equal p2 you know p2 we talked define a mapping capital phi this is phi capital phi from p2 into r3 by define this mapping by phi of ax square plus b x plus c is equal to a b C. So this is function. This is mapping. Mapping also the same is function. This is function defined from P to P to. This is polynomial for order two. Polynomial order two into R three defined by phi of a x square plus b x plus c is equal to. We take this is in the first argument and this is in the second and this is in the third. So this is uh, defined of phi for all for all a x square plus b x plus c belongs to p two. Now show that phi. Is isomorphism. Solution. Now, if we want to to prove that this this phi is almost isomorphism so now i know this is vector space and this is vector space now i have to show that this is one to one phi is one to one on to and linear transformation one to one and on to and linear transformation now first we show that phi is one to one
assume that phi of a x square plus b x b1 b1 x and plus c1 is equal to phi of a2 a2 x squared plus b2 x plus c2 try to show that uh, this is the same a1 equal a2 and b1 equal to b2 and c1 equal to c2 if i i uh, if i can do that so <coughs> we get a uh, phi is a uh, one to one so this is implies this is implies what this is equal this is equal to a1 and this is b1 this is by definition of phi this is first argument second and third here first a1 and here b1 and here c1 and this is equality here and here also the same a2 b2 c2 and look about this equality so this is the first equal this and this equal this and this equal this so now we get a1 is equal to a2 b1 is equal to b2 and c1 is equal to c2 <coughs> thus if if this equal thus we get a1 x2 plus b1 x plus c1 is equal to a2 x squared plus b2 x plus c2 this implies phi is 1 to 1 now we have to show that <coughs> phi is on to this page number 6 This is this is number and this is number two. We show that phi is on two. You know what is on two? Let let a one a2 sorry b1 the c1 belongs to r3 this is point in r3 this implies if i take if i take this uh this um, a1 x square plus b1 x plus c if i take this belong to p2 then we can um, implies this phi of a1 x square plus b1 x plus c1 this is c1 here c1 is equal to a1 b1 c1 so this is any point in r3 this is any point in r3 and can this will be <coughs> will be a point this will be belongs to the range of phi 
because I choose here uh, in P2 polynomial uh, here A1 and here B1 and here C1 and this is the, by definition of phi is equal to A1 B1 C1 so this is <coughs> so phi is on 2 now I try to prove that uh, phi is linear 3 we show that phi is linear transformation let let um, a1 x square plus b1 x plus c1 this first and the second uh, a2 x square plus b2 x plus c2 this is belongs to p2 for, for this polynomial this is two elements and uh, C belongs to R. Now we try to satisfy this. Uh, phi is is a linear transformation. So now we take phi of two elements, this and this plus a one x squared plus b one x plus c one plus a two x squared plus b2 x plus c2 we take this and now we can sum this with this and this with this and this with this we get this is equal to phi of a1 plus A2 x square plus B1 plus B2 this is x plus C1 plus C2 and this what equal and this is by definition of phi is equal to first argument here A1 plus A2 and here B1 plus b2 and the third one c1 plus c2 i get this <coughs> and now this is equal to a1 a1 sorry comma here and b1 and c1 plus a2 b2 c2 if i sum this with this will we get this and what about this this is what equal this is equal to phi phi of a x square plus b1 x plus c1 this is equal plus this is all this this is equal to phi of a2 square a, a, a two x squared plus a one a two also a two x plus b two. So we satisfy first condition of this is first element and this is second element and move phi here in the first element and in the second element phi here and phi here. So we satisfy the first condition of linear transformation and the second this is the first condition of linear transformation and the second will be take phi phi of c of a1 x squared plus b1 x plus c1 and this is we can move c here for all of them 
and we get this is phi of um, uh, c sorry c c a one x square plus c b one x plus c c one. Not mine. This is c. This is c one. And this is c here, c a. Now, what about this? This what equal? This equal to equal to c a one, c b one, c c one. And this is equal. We can move c out. We can move c out. This is equal c a one, b one c1 and this is what equal will be equal c here the same and this is phi of a1 x square plus a1 x b1 sorry b1 x plus c1 so move c here out this is definition of linear transformation this is 7 page number seven therefore for all of this therefore phi is an isomorphism And R three isomorphic with P two. Uh, this is last example okay there is another example example about this subject let s2 be the set be the set of Two times two matrices, uh, symmetric matrices. So symmetric, sorry, symmetric matrices. You know, symmetric matrices. Let phi defined from R three into S two. B defined by defined by this way phi capital phi of x y z this is from R T this is is equal to this here here should be matrix x y and here y z x put here and y put here and here and z put here so this is symmetric show that If phi is an isomorphism, solution the same way first should be show sure that this is will be one to one and on to and linear transformation 
first we look this is symmetric this matrix I take phi of x y z if I take a transpose for this this that mean this is equal x y y z transpose and this is will be equal to here x y and here y z so still the same so this is matrix so this is matrix now we try to get to prove number one we show that phi is one to one let now uh, we take two elements here different elements um, let phi of x1 y1 z1 is equal to phi of x2 y2 z2 and this is what equal this is equal to this matrix this equal to x1 y1 here also y1 here and here z1 and here equal z1 and this equal to x2 y2 also here y2 and here z2 this this equal to this so this implies x1 equal to x2 y1 equal to y2 and also z1 equal to z2 so this point is equal to this point if the the function is equal equal so this point is equal to point this so uh, phi is one to one number two we show that phi is on to <clears throat> let x y y z belongs to s two by two s two and if this belongs to s2 so we can choose any point we can choose here choose uh, x y z belongs to r3 and this will be phi of x y z will be equal to x y y z so i get this is is a picture for this element so so phi is on to this is page number eight and third condition we show that phi is linear transformation now try to show this linear transformation let 
x1, x1, y1, z1, and also x2, y2, z2 belongs to R3, and C belongs to a real number. Now, we phi of this element and this plus x1, y1, z1 plus x2, y2, z2. And we can sum these two elements. This is equal to phi of x1 plus x2, y1 plus y2, and also the third one, z1 plus z2. This equal to the matrix. This is here x1 plus x2 and y here by definition y1 y2 and also here y y1 plus y2 and here z1 plus z2 and this is will be equal to x1 y1 y1 z1 plus x2 y2 y2 here and here z2 so now, this is if I sum this, will be get this. Now this is, is equal to phi of x one, x two, uh, sorry, y y one, z one plus phi of, and this is equal to x two, y two, z two. So I now this satisfy the first condition of linear transformation this phi move here on this element and move here in this elements now the second one this first condition for for linear transformation and second condition for linear transformation phi of c of x1 x2 sorry y1 y1 z1 and move C here inside. This will be phi of C X one, C Y one, C Z one. And this is by definition of linear transformation will be equal to the matrix C X one and here C Y one and here C Y one and here C Z one. And this we can move C out. C and this matrix is still x1, y1, y1, z1. And this equal to phi of, and now this is equal to C, still the same, and this is, will be equal to phi of x1, y1, z1. So this is the second condition of linear transformation. Therefore, phi is an isomorphism isomorphism and <coughs> And S2 isomorphic with R3. S2 is isomorphic with R3. This is page number 9. I think this enough for today. Thank you very much. Goodbye.